Hey everyone, it's been a while since I had a pin mail video, so I figured today I put a bunch together here. Some of the latest purchases and pin mail to share with you guys. I know you guys like when I do my pin mail videos, just kind of show you what's being added to my personal collection. So I figured today we would go through the latest. This is probably within the past month or two. Uh, pins I've just had laying around that still need to go up on my uh, cork board. Um, also got some art in here from a, a DPB viewer, so thank you for that. I want to show that. So I've also been brainstorming ideas on how to keep your Disney pins clean. I know some of you guys have asked me in the past, what's the best way to clean your pins? You know, especially after attending a pin event. So after I go through the pin mill here, uh, we will talk about that a little bit in a new product from Go Pin Pro that I think will really help out with that. First up. Peter Pan's flight from the Minnie Mouse, the main attraction uh, pin series. This is number, what, 6 out of 12. So this is the June release. I love Peter Pan's flight. Pretty much just got it for this pin here. Going into the personal collection. I don't even know where to start here. There's so many pins. Let's start with, um, I guess I'll kind of go from the oldest up until what I have now. I don't think I showed this one before, but I got the Tangled 10th Anniversary pin. This was from ShopDisney.com limited release. This was also released overseas. I got this pin around the 4th of July. It's a new one. American themed castle pin. Love it. I visited Disney's Vero Beach Resort so I got a pin from there. Here it is. Little turtles on it there. Very tropical fresh looking pin. Let the sea set you free. I have a four key collection so I had to get this new one at Disney Parks. I'm just happy to be here with Forky. I don't think Forky has ever said that, but I love it. Just happy to be at Disney Parks. I'm not collecting the Celebrate Today pin series, but I do have two of them here. Uh, two that I thought were pretty cool. We have the June one, which is National Selfie Day with Mickey and Minnie. Taking a little selfie there together. And then I also got the July one, which is World Emoji Day. I thought this one was cool, and I love the glitter on it. Look at the blue glitter in the background. Super cool pin. I love Muppets, so I had to pick up the new Muppets Open Edition pin. The whole gang's there. I love Animal in the background, acting crazy. New one uh, at Disney Parks. Most of these Open Editions I purchased here at Walt Disney World. Also got the new Polynesian Village and Trader Sam's pin. I love this Polynesian Village pin. Super high quality. Pin on pin design with a mini and the bamboo frame as the pin on pin element. This is yellow price, which is $12.99. But you can see why there. It's a, you know, pin on pin. Very nice, thick pin. I have a little Trader Sam's collection, so I got the Grog Grotto pin. And I really like the colors on this. The uh, gold and orange and brown. Definitely has that tiki vibe there. Silver tone finish makes it shine really nice. Recently at Disney Parks, we had an abundance of Jungle Cruise themed merchandise arrived. Not only pins, but also including other merchandise like shirts, mugs, hats. I think it was all for the Jungle Cruise live action film, uh, but that got delayed until next year, I believe. But I did purchase the pins. First up, I think I showed this in one of my vlogs, but it's the Funko Pop Skipper Boat Pin, which is the very first Funko Pop pin at Disney Parks. Had to get that one. I got the Jungle Cruise Booster Pin Scent. Four pins on this here. Open edition, retail price $24.99. And I love the backer card and how it's themed to the pin set. And then got this Jungle Cruise one as well with the skipper on it there. It kind of matches the booster pin set. And then this Jungle Cruise pin, which is for the live action film that has been delayed. And this is a limited release with a retail price of $15.99. Before we continue on to the pin now, I wanna show you this awesome artwork that a fan sent. It is a Br'er Rabbit Wishable. I love this. And I wanna thank you, Matt, for the very nice note. I do appreciate this. Um, he says he is gonna open up a little uh, Mercari store selling these paintings. So um, once you let me know the link for that, I'll be able to link it up here in this video so others can check out your work. But I love this. 
Thank you again. I really appreciate it. Okay, back into the pin mail. <clears throat> One piece here is my absolute favorite. I was going to wait until the end to share it with you guys, but um, I just can't wait. This set is gorgeous, and this was um, a gift from my good friends here in Orlando. It's a housewarming gift. They know I love Pirates of the Caribbean. It is a framed LE150 Mark Davis Pirates of the Caribbean scene. The uh, gel scene with the dog. Look how amazing that is. I love the Mark Davis artwork. I do have uh, his entire collection of pins. So I'm very happy to add this one to my collection. There's the certificate of authenticity on the back. Gorgeous piece. Okay, moving on. I'm collecting this crazy little retro Mickey pin set from Disneyland. Um, I wasn't going to, but I think these pins are hilarious. I'm probably one of the rare ones out there that's actually collecting this entire set. Um, they're goofy, but I love it. I think it's a quarterly collection or bi-monthly. I'm actually not sure on that. Um, but the very first one is this one here with the crazy little dangle arms and legs. This was released out at Disneyland before the parks closed. They're like mini jumbo pins, LE 1500, retail price $34.99. Um, so yeah, whenever they're out at Disneyland, I just like, I wasn't gonna collect it, but then the uh, second one they released online at Shop Disney. So I purchased this one here, the little drummer Mickey. There is the second pin. Love the retro style. And then the third one here I think is hilarious. It's uh, Mickey on the scooter. Such a funny pin, I love his face. His expression on this scooter, it's great. So yeah, got these three so far in that collection. Next are the brand new open edition pins from Disney Studio Store Hollywood. Here they are. This was during their recent online pin release. This is the Hollywood and Highland um, open edition pin set. There are five pins here. Classic Disney characters next to the street signs. There we have Mickey Mouse with his shades on. Same one there with Minnie Mouse and her shades. I think Goofy is lost here. He's got his map out. Doesn't know where he's going. Retail price on these is $12.95. You got a really cool looking Pluto with his shades on. And then the happiest here is actually Donald Duck. He's just out there enjoying life on the street sign. So yeah, I picked up that. That was during that crazy online pin release with Pocahontas and then the Mother's and Father's Day pin sets which that leads me into my last piece of pin mail here. I wasn't able to get this during the online release, but my friend Jason um, was able to get it, so I bought it from him. Got this one at cost. It's the Finding Nemo pin. I think this was supposed to be for the Father's Day release, but I do have a little Finding Nemo side collection, and I love this pin. Looks like a porthole, the uh, gold frame there. So yeah, added that one to the collection. So that's the majority of my pin mail and recent pin purchases. And one more thing before we get onto the sanitizing, cleaning part of the video, I wanna show you guys. I completed the Wishables pin set. Yeah, here we go. I just have to put up on the pin board, but I wanna give a shout out to Samantha in California for helping me complete this pin set. 16 different pins, all themed to Wishables, of course. Haunted Mansion, Pirates. Winnie the Pooh, Toy Story, Frozen, Finding Nemo, Little Mermaid, and Splash Mountain. So in the past, a lot of people have reached out to me on ways to clean their Disney pins. And I figured now, especially during the pandemic, we could all be a little cleaner in keeping our pins sanitized. So as I was brainstorming ideas on keeping your pins safe, it really just isn't feasible to go through each one of your pins with soap and water and clean them that way. It would take forever. And it's honestly not the safest thing to do. You can do it, but you really don't want to expose your pins to a lot of water. If you do use soap and water to clean, clean your pins, don't use a hard brush to scrub them. Just use a soft cloth and make sure to dry them right away because uh, you know moisture can cause erosion, especially in the older pins. So that brought me into my next idea and it was UV lighting. So I actually purchased a UV wand. It was a pretty cool idea. I don't have it here at the moment, but really you could just use the UV wand and scan your pens with it. In about 15 seconds, it kills 99.9% .9 of the germs and bacteria on the surface that the UV light is pointing at. So that is one option. I did purchase a wand and I've uh, scanned my pens with it in my pen book. Uh, but the only problem with that is you don't know if it's 100% effective because you're really just shining a light on it and you just hope it's working. There's really no way to tell if it's actually killing the viruses and bacteria 
on your pins. So that takes me to my third point here, which I have here, which I think this is the best option. And uh, this is a product from GoPin Pro. I have it here. They were nice enough to give me some samples at the last pin event here in Orlando. So this I think is one of the best ways right now to keep your pins sanitized. And it is called the Safe and Go Page Protector. It is just a nice piece of plastic sheet that goes over top of the pin folio pages. It has the holes in it so you can just actually put these into your pin books. It keeps your pins safe without them falling out. And then once you're done trading, if you're at a pin event and guests are touching this and looking at your pins, just take your sanitizer spray afterwards and wipe it off. That way you don't have to clean each individual pin and if a guest is trading with you and says, oh, I want this pin right here, then whoever owns the pin should be the one that goes in there and pulls the pin out and hands it to the guest. Um, so you really only have the traders touching this part and then you spray it and keep it sanitized for the next guest. So in my opinion, this is probably one of the best ways right now to pin trade and keep your pins nice and safe and clean. Also make it super easy to just slide out the book little page here, put all your pins in, and then slide it back in. Here's a little card that came with the book if you guys want to check them out on social. And just pull up their website right here, the retail price for this, the Pinfolio Safe and Go Page Protector slash Divider Pouches is $11.49. So these can be used on your existing pages and go right in your Pinfolio book. All right, so that's all I have for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed my latest pin mail and those tips for keeping your pins clean. Thanks for watching. See ya.